The apparent infighting between members of the People's Democratic Movement, the PDM, amidst recent reports that the party received a considerable amount of money from Salt Key Devco developer Mario Hoffman has reached a point of a full-scale eruption, and it may also be the reason why the party is holding an NGC meeting tonight. Reports are that members of the PDM are asking for answers to the peculiar donations which Hoffman claimed he made to the PDM during the general elections of 2007. There are also reports that PDM leader Floyd Seymour is skating on thin ice as he may lose his seat during the NGCs because of a lack of confidence in Seymour to lead the party to success once elections are reopened. In a telephone interview with News 4 earlier today, Seymour said that the reports are bogus, that he has no intention of giving up his post as party leader and that despite reports that the PDM is in cahoots with developer Mario Hoffman, there is no truth to that. I've been on vacation for a couple of weeks. I got back last week. When I got back last week, we, I, I contacted the chairman and the secretary general to set up a, a meeting for this week. And, and that has nothing to do with any other, uh, anything else that's going on, on out there. I mean, that's, uh, uh, again, I mean, I think it's about time that people start to realize that the journal is, sim is, is simply uh, nothing more than tabloid journalism and, and never has anything factual on it. In a recent publication from TCI Journal, editors posted that the PDM leader should give a full account of where the funds originated from. The website also noted that Seymour's post will be up for grabs. The leader of the party notes that tonight's NGC gathering is part of the party's quarterly meetings. Our, our National General Council meets at least once a quarter. I mean, most times during the year we meet almost on a monthly basis. We didn't meet in July or August, and we're meeting in September. It's just a regular meeting. We had a number of uh, housekeeping matters we're planning for convention and, and a number of other matters that, that we'll discuss this evening as well that, that I don't necessarily want to uh, discuss. But, but rest assured, the issues that the, that the journal raised uh, uh, Entirely Seymour admitted that there are ongoing conflicts between members of the party, including former leader Oswald Skippings, an outspoken member and frequent contributor to the TCI Journal website, Sean Malcolm. Which members you're talking about, relationships between individuals vary from person to person. You know, and uh, the basically, obviously, you have. I mean, there's no secret that you have people like, I mean, Alison Skippins and, and and others that are interested in the leadership. I mean, and uh, and you know, Sean Malcolm are associates, and, and and they'll use the journal and whatever they want to uh, for their own purposes and to try to discredit discredit anyone. I mean, I don't have any. There's no secret to that. Uh, you know, and. Uh, he will, he will likely offer himself as uh, for the leadership of the party uh, at the next convention. Uh, I have no doubt that if I were to contest the leadership, I would defeat him. I've defeated him twice before, and I've defeated him again. The only issue is whether or not that I will uh, will offer myself or not. Uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is that he is he is the thing of the past, and he needs to. And it's important. The problem is that people don't always seem to recognize when their time is up. Uh, you have persons like uh, Sean Malcolm that, uh, that still seems to be licking his ones and having uh, and uh, over the fact that he contended for leadership last year and, and really got any support support except for his uh, uh, his, his relatives that, that were members of the of the convention. During the Exploratory Commission of Inquiry, it was revealed that a number of big-time developers donated thousands of dollars to the Progressive National Party, the PNP. The hefty donations, which came from Mario Hoffman and Dr. Sam Kanai of Delisky, were believed to have been suspicious by Commissioner Sir Robin Ault during the inquiry. Both developers have maintained their stance by stating that the funds were not dubious, nor were they used as bribery. Since then, Hoffman, whose $60 million Salt Key Development project was temporarily halted by the governor as a result of advice from the Foreign and Commonwealth Office revealed that he also gave donations to the PDM party. Tonight's meeting is a closed-door meeting and media houses will not be allowed inside.